Hey everyone! Recently, Illumina got a new PB in 1.16 RSG, securing second place on the leaderboards with a 10 minute and 53 second run. Huge congratulations to him, this run was very well played and so cool to watch. The most unfortunate part of this run though was the end fight. Illumina entered the end at 7 minutes and 51 seconds real time, getting a 3 minute and 12 second total end fight. Fairly unlucky, but not that unlikely. Statistically, the north-south waiting strategy that was used here would result in this 3 minute and 12 second time or worse, about 24% of the time. Going for the strategy compared to a bone arrow end fight I think was actually the correct play in this situation. Entering the end at the time he did and using this strategy, Illumina had a 58% chance to finish the game in sub 10 minutes, and a 24% chance to finish the run in sub 9 minutes, which would be an insane world record. That being said, I've gotten a few questions asking what would have happened if Illumina had attempted a zero cycle. Was the end zero cyclable and what time could he have gotten? Now let's look at the RTA splits of the run. Faster use of mapless treasure could have saved maybe 10 seconds or 1.5% of the total runtime. Luckier barters or cleaner movement overall could have saved maybe 20 seconds or 3% of the total time. But with Illumina's inventory and end island, there was roughly a 50% chance with good execution to successfully pull off a sub one minute zero cycle end fight. The 50% chance is due to the dragon's random choice of target block height. In Illumina's actual run, the target block chosen was visibly low enough where Illumina actually would have had a 100% success rate of a sub one minute zero cycle with good execution, saving him two minutes and five seconds or 19% of the total runtime. So for this video, I decided to recreate Illumina's seed, inventory, health, and hunger. Copy this world file several times and see how many attempts it would take me in a row to successfully zero cycle to see what Illumina could have gotten. These attempts are uncut and unedited. I wanted to give an accurate representation of how difficult and how likely this would have been. Now, fair warning, these are my first attempts on this specific end, but I had plenty of practice with the practice map on this specific pillar type with this inventory before attempting these. I'll put the link to that map in the description. I also memorized the positions of items in the inventory that I would need and have already seen the end. So it's not an exact RSG situation, especially because of the nerves in a run like this, but the dragon RNG is not changed in any way. So here are my attempts. So here you can see my inventory and my health and hunger is the same as Illumina's run. Um, one of the slower things about Zero Cycle is you do have to pre-craft your beds. Fortunately though, Illumina uh, actually crafted his wool while his pearls were in the air. So saved a bit of time there and we enter the end pretty quickly um, just after Illumina would have. Here I pearl straightforward because in an RSG run you don't know if it's a front or back dragon. So you want to pearl in the middle to catch both. We can see it's not in the front so we would pearl to the back here. Um, my pearl is a little shaky here, um, uh, weirdly nervous even though this doesn't really matter because I want to hit this first try, so I make a few mistakes here and I'm not really playing as on point as I would like to be, but I barely get off the first bed, it's late though, so this is a little bit awkward and I'm not really used to um, triggering beds in this position, so on this first attempt You'll see what happens, but I said I was going to do this um, unedited, so I do not make it on the first attempt. Even though I do hit the 50-50 dragon, the dragon survives with one or two health. Sag. Um, rip, go next. You know, it's a little embarrassing. In zero cycling, I tend to hit five or six beds pretty consistently, but Illumina had seven here going in, so I wanted to play it a little bit safer because I knew there were seven, so I wanted to make sure that I could do it, and... I end up missing it. So just bad play. Um, again, I'm not the best speedrunner. Um, I think someone else who puts a lot of time and practice into this could be a lot more consistent than me. Um, my parkour and my pearl throwing isn't like the best, but um, here's my very second attempt. And yeah, you can't always zero cycle. I'm not gonna say this is a solution to every end. Sometimes you have to pearl two to three times. So you need the health and hunger uh, and food in order to do this. So. Um, it's not perfectly consistent, but on the second attempt, I get lucky again and hit the 50-50 that Illumina also got um, and get the correct uh, dragon hunt. So I'm able to do the zero cycle with the dragon staying at this height. So this time, again, I could have done a five or six bet if I only had that many, but I knew Illumina had seven. So I just want to play safe, make sure I got the zero cycle, and there it is. I got on the second attempt. So again, huge congrats to Illumina for an insanely well-played run. And while the zero cycle is still very difficult and a little in, uh, inconsistent, I think we can all agree that in 116 RSG, the end fights could be a lot better.
Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.